Hello, Samuel 7. In our today Christian religious education lesson, we are going to look at Christian action in education. Christian action in education. And what we'll look at is the early missionaries or the early missionaries. So, formal education now, we have the education that we have now, which we call the formal education, was established by the early missionaries who came in our country. So, when these missionaries came, they established first in schools, hospitals, and also the vocational training centers. So they came and established schools, hospitals, and the vocational training centers. And the highest missionaries in Kenya were whom? They were two, John Redman, and the, the other one was called John, uh, Louis Crash. So these two are the highest missionaries who came in our country. When they came, they established a mission station at Rabai in Mombasa. And now, after they established this mission, they started the education. And why did they start education? Why did they start education? They started this education so that now they can educate Africans how to read the Bible, so that now they can get, they, they can easily spread the gospel. So when they came, these missionaries, when they came, they had to establish those missionary stations, they had to establish schools, so that they can teach we Africans how to read the Bible and now get the gospel. So, where these missionaries now, they were of different denominations. We had both the Protestants and the Catholic missionaries who came. They came, all of them came to spread their gospel. And now, why did they come? Also, they had read the Bible. And now in, the, in Matthew chapter 28, 19-20, Jesus had commanded his disciples or his followers that to teach people the good news of Jesus Christ. So these missionaries, they came so that they can fulfill this command, this Jesus command of spreading the gospel to his followers, or the followers of Jesus to continue teaching the gospel. So Jesus promised now to be with his followers until the end of time. So in this, in Matthew chapter 28, 19 to 20, Jesus had promised that he will be with his followers up to the end. So that's why now the missionaries, ending to this call, ending to this command of Jesus, they had come to Kenya to spread the gospel. So when they came, we have now the early schools that they started, or the early church schools. So before missionaries came to Kenya, you are told that Africans had their own non-formal education. So before this I missionaries came, we Africans we had our own, own non-formal education. We have now the children who are taught various things in an informal setup whereby they were taught how to take care of other girls were taught how to take care of children, how to fetch water, to fetch firewood, boys were taught how to take care of animals and all that. So we had that non-formal education. Now these missionaries when they came, they introduced the formal education. So the first missionaries to Kenya started formal education by opening schools. So as we have seen when these people came, they started by opening schools so that they could start the formal education. So now these schools also now were used as what? The schools were used as the centers of evangelization and also schools taught religious instructions, reading, writing, writing, arithmetic and agriculture. So in these schools, people were taught now the religious instructions they were taught how to read, they were taught how to write, they were taught the arithmetics, that is mathematics, and also how to do some agriculture. So missionaries, when they came and they started these early schools, they, they had to learn our language. So they learned our, the African languages and now they started translating Bible to, into those languages. So they learned our language, that is African language, and then they started translating Bible into these African languages. So, we should be committed in spreading the good news. So, these missionaries, they came all the way from those countries to our country, or to Africa, so that they could spread the gospel. So, we, also we as Christians now, we are, told, we are told that, or we are told that we are supposed to commit ourselves in spreading the good news as these missionaries are done. So we have the early schools that they had started. We have some schools like the Alliance School was started by missionaries. We have St. Mary's, Yala, and other schools now. Especially the, the schools that they had at the, the church. The, the ones that have the saints, the saints, St. Mary's, Yala, and other schools, 
they were started by these missionaries when they came. So, that is that about the early missionary and the early schools in our country. For today, we'll stop there. We will continue next time. Good day.